Okay, we're going to cover a few things today. We're going to touch on on staircase creation, ramps creations, railing. Let's begin by having the uh, opening up sketch sketch stairs for students. This part. Let's run quickly through um, using the stair functions here. Okay. So go to architecture, go to stair, and go to stair by sketch. This one. This is the function here. So we are going to explore how to create a staircase proper. Okay. Once you are in here, we are going to use this mode to create. We are going to use run to create staircase. This one. Okay, you realize that you are in a very familiar mode which is the sketch mode again. Eh? So by clicking on this, this is the zone where we want to be creating the, the staircase. So by clicking here, essentially to create will be this. One line down, okay, if you can look at my screen here, you will notice that as you are creating it will seem like it is snapped to something. The line creation is no longer smooth. It's very snappy, very interval. And then also as you are moving, the uh, Revit program will attempt to inform you certain things by telling you, hey, 11 risers were created. There are eight remaining. So where do we find, where does this come from? Where is this intelligent build based on? All right. It is built based on a few things here. If you now look at it, if you look under dimensions portion in the properties palette here, there are certain things pre-built in already, which is first of all the width and then the number of risers and the defined height, the riser height and the thread depth. These are some of the things in which we can make changes to. Alright. Um, and these are these numbers are derived from our based on our local building control regulations. Uh. Like for example, um, the width of the staircase. The width of the, the absolute minimum for the width of the staircase is actually 1160. Alright. Uh, factoring in 40 from the wall, uh, 40 mm from the wall, 40 mm thickness for the handrail, 1 meter clearance for walking through to and fro on the other side, another 40 for handrail, another 40 for handrail clearance from the wall. So if you add up these numbers here, it will become 40 plus 40 plus 1 meter plus 40 plus 40 equals to 1160 all right that is the that is the golden number uh, but the thing is it's a little bit hard to remember so we are easily we are better off just rounding off to 1.2 meter for them so therefore 1.2 meter here now the, our highest allowable riser height remains at 175 mm um, we are not likely to grow genetically yeah, anytime soon. Okay, so we are not likely to grow by another 200 if not 300 mm taller. So therefore the riser height should not change very much. It should remain this. Alright. In fact it will drop uh, given our aging population. It will be harder and harder. So maybe, I don't know, you will revise to a dropping a lower one. The uh, actual thread depth is set at 300 instead of 300 um, the residential minimum control is 250 but again it becomes very dangerous and very 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 sharp inclination so therefore 300 will be a, a more reasonable one commercial limit is 300 all right if you click here click on edit type you find that you will now begin be able to make changes to these numbers the thread depth as well as the riser height. <coughs> you, if you click on calculation rules, you can also begin to click change the calculation algorithm, the calculation formula for things. 
alright but we leave this alone for now you can make these changes here okay now to create is simply this by clicking on the first point and pulling it how does again staircase creation depends on a couple of things how does Revit know how high it needs to go Revit uses the first story or the lower story datum line and the upper story datum line as the absolute reference meaning if you set your levels height to let's say 3150 it will divide the 3150 by 175 and give you the amount of risers you are going to need all right that's how it works out so therefore we are going to click first point down and notice down here each time you create it gives you a reading of how many being created already and how many is remaining so in this case we are going to try for let's say having um, having 10 and then we will try having the other remaining 9 complete this way so once you have done this you click finish click on the tick to finish the creation we have just created the staircase already how to see this let's go to 3d view and take a look this is a cutaway view so you will be able to now see the staircase being created here you will notice that there is one more extra one that doesn't seem to tie up very very nicely with the stair the nice thing about having Revit is it is very editable so even though the staircase has been created already we can still make changes to it so I'm going to go inside and by clicking on this button here edit sketch we will be able to then change the parameters of the staircase here <coughs> we can then click on the run line again and by reducing one module and extending the other module here we will then be able to now make it more coincidental with the floor slab design here let's go back to the second story plan again now and see how we can make everything line up properly okay at that if you look down here we have created the staircase but it seems that it doesn't really tie up nicely with the existing stair core design in the building space so we are going to make it line up nicely by going okay but prior to making the change by editing it we would click on we would use the model line function here under architecture under model line we can use this to create a few guidelines for us first before doing before making the change so I'm going to click on model line function and create uh, an absolute center line first this way and then I will do an offset of 100 so that I can have the core offset points here then I will draw another another model line here at this point so I know how to I'm able to then snap to the absolute center point here next before I do anything else I will then move the staircase so I can get a centered position here first and then I will click on edit sketch <coughs> once I'm inside the sketch mode here I can use the align command here 
to get the footprint of the staircase designed to work nicely and blend in nicely here all right like that so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to use the align command and select this wall as a reference but i don't want to select the center line i want to select the edge of one wall so i will click on tap to select the kind of the accurate wall that i want to use so i'm going to tap to select the inside wall and then i will align this select the model line and i will align it select the other model line align again select the other inside wall and align like that after that you will fit in quite nicely here except right now though if i do a measurement the width now of the staircase is about 1.72 1.7 meters um, but my landing here is only 1.2 so i want to make it more evenly spread out this landing so therefore i'm going to extend this landing here to about 1.75 so i will then select this line here shift the dimension to this one to the edge of the riser and key in 1750 let's say this way once i'm done divide by 2875 okay i will then change this run line in the center to 875 so that it will be aligned to the center nicely and i will then move the alignment of this line properly and make sure this one is also properly centered here once i have completed this i can click ok and then the staircase is properly sized up then i can begin to remove these model lines away and then i can take a look at the staircase okay next this staircase is going to travel from the second story to the third story here like that all right um, we want to now create the first story staircase that will go up from ground floor to the second floor so if you look under here there are a set of gray lines here this is due to us opening up this underlay setting this plan as an underlay so that we can see second floor what this is so it gives us a good idea where to anchor the staircase position later on all right so we are going to click on stair sketch stair by sketch again so this time round instead of creating a u-shaped staircase we are going to create a straight run staircase a straight stair so simply we just click first point second point and we are done the next thing is to also then position this staircase at the target location here And if you notice, if you click on the staircase here, there are options of having the up text, down text. Bear in mind that do not, under the local building code, do not use the down key. 
having ups and downs uh, creates confusion which one is up which one is down okay and sometimes to the point the whole thing gets constructed wrongly also it's a big problem so by default staircase only point upwards that's all that's never down once we are done we can go inside and again edit sketch to edit the footprint of the staircase by using the align commands and when done click tick and the staircase will be created nicely you can take a look at this in 3d Sometimes there is a need for us to change the orientation of the staircase. So if you look at this now, do you see, once you select the staircase, do you now see that there is a little arrow head there? This arrow head, once you click on it, will change the orientation of the staircase location. Okay. Notice here now it has flipped to the other side here. Staircase is orientated to the wrong side. So we can fix this by tweaking it backwards again here. <coughs> 